Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin to $30,000, Ethereum to $2,500. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the real reason behind this price crash today, plus why Bitcoin may not actually be looking as bullish as some people once thought, and why you should wait before considering selling your crypto. You definitely want to stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we are taking a look at the reason behind this Bitcoin price crash, plus also how Bitcoin may continue down to $30,000 and Ethereum to $2,500, but why you should still continue to keep hodling. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love, where every day we share some of the best charts in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Push that like button, it helps out so gosh darn much. Now, today, we are in fear, greater fear than yesterday. Ooh, we're in extreme fear. Yes, this is the most awesome territory for Bitcoin. The whole market today, down 5%. Bitcoin at 38,445, Ethereum at 2846, BNB at 390, Solana at $97, XRP 65 cents, Terra Luna at $88, Cardano at 83 cents, and Dogecoin at 14 cents. And if you want to know the top coins today to pick to outpace just holding Bitcoin alone, as a matter of fact, they're up over 959% on gate.io. The coins today would be Kyber Network Crystal, XCAD Network, Dogecoin, Clever, and One Ledger. And if you want to check this out for yourself, add some low caps for higher risk, but potentially much higher reward. There is a discounted link down in the description. And while you're down there, check out Celsius because not only can you earn 17% on your crypto, not only can you also uh, have a free swap feature, but you can actually get free crypto from taking out a loan with Celsius right now or depositing crypto to your account to be held with Celsius. You can earn up to $5,000 on select crypto or $2,000 on all cryptocurrencies. Now, the past couple days, Bitcoin has broken below what's been pretty good support since January, this dashed blue line. But we still have this strong, heavy blue line that we're coming up very close to. As a matter of fact, today it's roughly around $37,300. Now, in yesterday's video, it had looked like we had broken above this RSI downtrend. But today we bounce back down. So I guess that was resistance, not breaking through it. Now, that being said, the real reason for this extreme volatility is noob margin traders, noob leverage traders. These guys who, as soon as things look bullish, they're like, oh, I'm going 1,000x long on this. And then look at this, $79 million in long liquidations in eight hours. You know what happens if you buy Bitcoin spot? Nothing. You just sit and huddle. You know what happens when you go 1,000x long? You lose all your money. Gamblers are retarded, but that a large majority of people do it. And because of that, it causes this extreme volatility in the market where it drops significantly. Now, Arthur Hayes, he has this article that just came out not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, the Q trap. Now, this is the same guy who back on January 7th, he said the money printer ain't going burst. So crypto is about to get bludgeoned by two by four studded with rusty nails. And since then, well, the total market cap went down from two trillion to about 1.7 trillion. So he was pretty dead on with that. Now, in this article here today, he actually says, you can read through the whole thing. He has a whole bunch of reasons. It's quite a long article. Probably takes about 15 minutes to read, but a bunch of reasons for why the price is coming down. But if you come all the way down to the bottom here, you can see, he says, the great thing about 24-7 market is that basically things happen quickly. And he thinks by the end of the second quarter of June this year, Bitcoin and ETH will have tested these levels. Now, this is important because the uh, trading rhetoric is sell in May, go away. So June, we could likely see a bottom. April and May, usually the best months for Bitcoin, second and third best months for Bitcoin. But sell in May, go away. We could have a bottom in Bitcoin to $30,000 and ETH to $2,500. But this isn't based on science. It's just a gut feeling. And there's this interesting thing. So the last article that he had, the one that I showed you right here, he was saying sell everything that's not Bitcoin, ETH, or a very legitimate altcoin. He has changed his narrative. He says the annoying part is that there are a number of altcoins I've begun to accumulate because prices are quite attractive. Even though some of these coins are already down 75% from their all-time high, I don't believe they can escape the coming crypto carnage. As such, I am buying crash June 2022 puts on both Bitcoin and ETH. So he thinks by June, we will have a crash, which has happened many years 
previously. June, generally not a great month for Bitcoin. And he's buying a whole bunch at those points. Now, that being said, we have some other charts here that we have to look at and evaluate. Is this good? Is this bad? Because a lot of charts look really, really good for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I'm still a Bitcoin permable. However, I just have to disclose my time frame is 10 years plus. I really don't care what's happening this year or what's happening next year or what's happening the year after that. And I'm going to show you why particularly having a 10 year time frame is very, very important. But right now, Bitcoin is entering a volatility squeeze on the daily chart for the sixth time in the last two years. Now, it happened here and price went up. It happened here and price went down. It happened here, price went up. Here, price went down. Here, price went down. So what's going to happen? I don't know. It's kind of a coin flip. Price could go up. Price could go down. We know that Bitcoin is pretty correlated with stocks nowadays. So if stocks continue to go down, guess what? Bitcoin could likely continue to go down. However, we have this chart right here saying that good news is the last time we hit these levels in DXY, the dollar currency index, Bitcoin hit the exact bottom in March 2020. Will we see it happen again? So very strong dollar, Bitcoin price, that was the bottom. Well, we have same levels right now. Could this be a bottom? Could this be very bullish? And we have this chart here. This is so bullish. We're below the 350-day moving average line in the golden ratio multiplier for the fifth time in Bitcoin's history. Now, sounds bullish because every time it was down on these levels, price went up, right? However, take a look at this. Aside from this covid crash which was like a black swan event look at how long we were below these levels okay look at how long we're below it right now this could just be the beginning now granted like i said i'm a bitcoin bull a perma bull but i just want to be realistic and take a look at what some of the other options are right now we've been under it for a very short amount of time and this is not a black swan event right now this is just whatever's going on in the world now that being said we have this bitcoin bottom indicator a new Bitcoin indicator that detects all bear market bottoms since 2013. With the RSI and stock indicators, which are based on the SPGSCI, which is the most uh, important commodity index, Bitcoin is known to authorities as a digital commodity indicator catches bottom within days. So we can see when the RSI is below this green line and also when the stock is below this green line. Well, look at that. Catch the bottom, 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 bottom. Where are we right now? A lot of charts are saying we're at the bottom. This chart, which catches the bottoms, is not. So maybe do we potentially have further down to go, like Arthur Hayes is saying here, ETH to twenty, ETH to thirty thousand dollars, or excuse me, ETH to twenty five hundred Bitcoin to thirty thousand dollars. Coincidentally, these prices, right around the average price that Michael Saylor paid for Bitcoin, thirty thousand dollars, right around the Plan C confluence model floor, twenty eight thousand dollars. Surprisingly, all of this pretty much lines up, but. Because I like to leave you guys with a happy ending, I don't want you to go crying home. Let's take a, couple, a look at a couple other important charts. So, Bitcoin investor tool on checkonchain.com. If we take a look, this is an amazingly simple tool for when to buy and when to sell Bitcoin. So, had you have sold back up here and then bought down here, you would have been doing great. So, you buy in 2015, sell in 2018, 2017, 2018, and then buy again back then and COVID bottom. And guess what? There hasn't been a sell yet. So while $3,000 to $5,000 was the accumulation territory, we haven't yet hit a sell territory yet. So continuing to hodl is very important, which brings me to why having a long time frame is important. Patience is important as an investor. I know everybody wants to get rich quick, but guess what? You can't. You can only get broke quick. And most people who get rich quick get broke quick immediately afterwards because they don't know how to handle money and they don't know anything about patience. Think MC Hammer, okay? But if we have a long-term time frame, 10 plus years, if you call yourself an investor, that should be your time frame. Well, if we compare Bitcoin with the growth model for mobile phone users and also for internet users, we can see that right now it is paired up pretty darn well with what happens. Now, that being said, it could potentially project what's to happen in the Bitcoin future. So in the near term, tough to say, $100,000, well, we may see that as early as 2023, so the end of this year. We may see that as late as not too long after that. So it's coming. But when we really start to see some big numbers, like a million dollars, like $10 million, well, we have to go out a little bit. But 10 years, what is it, 2022 right now? So we go to 2032, take a look where that is. Pretty much the minimum would be roughly about $800,000. 
the maximum roughly like 1.2 1.5 million dollars if it's based on these same growth curves if you don't think bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then 10 million dollars a coin you're already a loser now if you're worrying that bitcoin price drops to thirty thousand dollars what does that really matter when in a decade or less we could have a 1.5 million dollar bitcoin it really doesn't so that being said that's all for today's video just uh, exercise some patience like i said i am a bitcoin permable a lot of charts look really really good for bitcoin there are a few that just make me question it and this guy tends to know what he's talking about he's been right a few times before there is the confluence floor model cross that has predicted we will hit that floor soon hasn't happened yet so potentially that could be where we're going. But anyways, I don't particularly know. I just make videos on YouTube. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace.